I'm an alien, I'm a legal alien. We're all into sex and we feel weird. I'm only joking. We don't really feel weird. I'm just thinking to myself, as usual, um, on my own. Uh, basically, the thing of, uh, you know, most people don't want to be considered intersex. You know, because for a start, intersex isn't even understood properly in the world. I won't look at the camera, I won't look at myself, I'll put myself off. Um, most people don't want to be considered intersex who are intersex. Um, uh, they want to be seen as, you know, a, a variation of male or female, basically, you know. I looked at myself, I put myself off. And, uh, you know, I understand that. I really do understand it. It's just that it doesn't help. Um, you know, those of us who are intersex, such as, as myself, um, the XXY kind of intersex, um, you know, obviously we can fit in, most of us, as male. You know, um, most people wouldn't think twice that there's anything wrong with us as such, you know. Um, you know, we, 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 a lot of us could be seen as very temperamental, angry, uh, emotional um, um, guys. You know, and that's not speaking for all XXYs, because not all XXYs are the same. And that's why I keep saying we're all one, but we're not the same. Um, and when I say that in terms of intersex, it is that we all are intersex. Um, Gavin Coleman theory would be everybody in the planet Earth is actually intersex. Um, you know, not again the medical definitions of intersex. But anyway, getting back to the point of, you know, intersex people themselves not wanting to be be called intersex, not wanting to be labelled intersex. Loads of reasons why. A lot of reasons would be insurance reasons. Um, other reasons would be um, social situations. They don't want to be, uh, you know, in a group of friends and then, oh, Gavin, I hear you're intersex, you know? Now, I'm a bad example for that because I don't mind people knowing I'm intersex. But most other intersex people don't want to be... Um, taken aside, having a spotlight on top of them, you know, and um, having then to explain to an unknowing and sometimes unwilling to know crowd of people that will prod at you with questions and uh, all sorts of comments that can be subtle, can be like digs, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you know, and, uh, you know so I understand why people don't want to be um, uh, seen as intersex. The only issue that I'm bringing up this video on, uh, the, the what I want to bring up with the issue is, is is XXY people. I won't call you XXY males. I won't call you XXY guys, and be thinking that we're males, you know, and that our gender is male because there's plenty of XXYs out there that do not feel male. Um, and I think the reason many of these XXYs don't feel male is because they aren't, you know. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm boggled by the XXYs that are adamant that they are males and that all of us are males. Um, it, their statements of XXYs are males are as bad. And by the way, I'm talking about loads of XXYs, by the way, in case anybody's getting taken as personal. And I'm talking about lots of XXYs that I've met throughout the, my time on the internet. Um, you know, they would like to consider themselves male and therefore they will label all of us as being male, which is just wrong, you know? I mean, um, it's, it's like the old stereotypes of uh, homosexual um, males, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people would have said they were sensitive, you know, and they're like girls, you know, um, uh, and actually like the, the image of um, muscly, um, really strong minded, um, strong bodied um, gay guys. Um, you know, uh, it, it, it has come out now, emerged, and many times, in fact, you don't really know if somebody's gay or not, you know? And now, again, this would lead on to the point of maybe everybody's bisexual or trisexual, if you want to bring the other sexes into it, um, um, you know, or multisexual, let's put it that way even. Um, you know, like we've got multi-culty people, people who are, who you can't, they can't say, oh, I was born in Ireland, that's it. They have to say, oh, my mother was from here, my father was from here, and we moved around here. They're, they're multi culty people. So I, I kind of see human beings as being multi-sexed. Um, and the the genders that we have, um, I mean, they're, they're obviously we've got pan-gendered and stuff as well, but, um, you know, male and female and masculine and feminine basically seems to be the only two things on the list of the menu you know of what you can have on the menu and um, you know to be normal 
you know and this is why again people don't want to be called intersex because they don't want to be um, feeling abnormal and um, out of place and um, you know and um, they want to fit in um, most people want to fit in um, if not everybody um, and most people don't really want to um, stand out you know unless they're really um, proud of themselves confident about themselves you know full of themselves you know whatever you know happy enough being themselves those people don't mind um, you know stating to the world uh, that they are in fact intersex and uh, medically speaking intersex uh, I mean the Gavin Coleman theory of intersex um, is is that uh, you know find me find find me for me Gavin Coleman find for me um, people that you can say are 100% male or 100% female completely you know completely like in everything they do they go to funeral they are that sex and gender find me those people because I really just don't see them sorry sorry to ruin your little bubble people uh, I don't see them there's a the very rare example of somebody who's 100% throughout their lifetime one sex and the gender that goes with it you know and um, so I think we've we've based um, reality on lies and um, in, in a lot of things I mean look at the justice system as well you know and um, the reality is it's not very just is it in general um, and look at the reality of police in general all over the world they're not really mm, they're not really here to protect and serve are they they're, they're definitely not uh, here to serve as such they're more here to control and to keep people in place and keep people in line and um, you know there's the, 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 the rare occasion that a police person actually helps you um, you know uh, there isn't a really good system there for police to 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 be called when you're in need and even when you are in need um, and you call the police there's a lot of red tape bureaucracy and um, stopping the police person um, um, from actually helping you because the law basically uh, allows the criminal to get away with the the crime that they're committing against you it's this fat, sad reality but it's, it's reality so uh, the, the, I think our systems in general and then I can go on to the environmental uh, systems um, of protection which are basically crap and um, you know in general um, you know um, certain countries are better than others and basically uh, you know it's it's highly important that we really change all of these systems because people are, are suffering and of course suffering that's the whole point of the economy people suffer they buy things to protect themselves you know um, uh, now this is simplified um, uh, simplified simplified look at that and analyzation of, of these systems but um, you know environmentally speaking uh, we've got one planet I don't know if you've noticed that people we've got one planet okay for the moment to live on and if if we found other planets and it just hasn't been told to us then we're gonna have a few problems getting there yeah so let's look at it this way we've won home and as we all know nearly everybody especially people watching youtube generally have a home let's be clear some of you live in cars i know uh, but you know yeah you have internet so um, and and a roof over your head on some level even if it's a bridge um, you know, uh, basically, uh, we do need to clean um, where we are living. Otherwise, we end up living in our own shit, and um, and then we get diseased. Basically, um, you know, we get sick um, if we don't clean things. So, bottom line is, the planet needs to be cleaned on a daily basis, on a nearly an hourly basis. We need to all do our part. Um, you know and that's where the hippie idea of commune and all that sort of stuff comes in here because we have to treat the planet like it's ours rather than you know somebody else's it's not somebody else's it's ours and we've got to um, look after it and 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 put in place better systems so the environment that we live in right it's our environment rather than saying the environment because then it's like you know something else and that we're not responsible for it when you say the simple word of the environment it's not the environment it's our environment and we need our environment to be very um uh, sustainable you know and i mean there will be issues in the future major issues people 
if you're not aware of that, you'd want to cop on to yourselves. There are going to be major issues. And I know we generally have an attitude in the entire world generally of like, just live for today, forget about tomorrow, which is a terrible attitude to have. Um, it's a terrible mindset. Um, and I think that mindset has been conditioned into us human beings, just like, you know, um, the, the male and female thing has been conditioned into us. You know, and it doesn't allow for people really to be able to express themselves and live life the way they could, you know? And I don't believe that we don't have enough food in the world. I just believe that we've mismanaged the distribution of foods and we waste a lot of food. And this goes for money as well. We uh, distribute money in, in unfair ways. Um, I don't think we're, we'll ever have a situation of everybody will have the same because not everybody wants the same. That's the other point. But I don't like to see poverty, for instance, like extreme poverty and ignorance of the people who are poor and people who are working um, or rich um, basically saying that the poor people are lazy. Um, many uh, poor people are not lazy. It's just simply they haven't, they can't find the opportunity to get their, their foot in the door and start something, you know, whether it's because they don't have the contacts, the confidence, or, or whether they've never been given a chance before and they don't they don't feel worthy of it, you know, same, things like that. There's a lot of things to take into consideration here. So as I waffled on about all those subjects, um, I want to get back to the intersex point. I think it's highly important that all intersex people that know that they are actually medically termed intersex, not the Gavin Coleman theory of intersex, the medically termed intersex people. I know there's millions of us out there. I've talked to thousands of you at this stage, people, hello, I mean, you know, Gavin Coleman, peace and party, hello again. You know, you, you, we have had conversations um, throughout, I don't know how many years it's been. Has it nearly been 10 years, me on the scene? I don't know, wow. Uh, it's definitely been eight. Um, and anyway, this is the point that uh, we need to get together. And I just watched the Intersection documentary again, and um, not the whole um, documentary, but um, but uh, yeah, I just thought like, yeah, one of the videos that was featured in that documentary was me saying, come on, let's get together. My hair was up, we look great. Um, and uh, I'd really like people to uh, recognize the importance of um, having better community. That's what it's all about, having community, knowing what's going on. Not too much, not too much private details. But I mean, if you've all got Facebook, you know exactly that private information is being shared and we can pretty much fairly much trust each other, please. Don't tell me that you can't trust your, your, your you know, your good people, you know, in the world, you can. And most people have got a good sense of, of judgment. Um, criminals and people taking advantage of, of the weak and, and people who are not knowing and stuff like that, I mean, um, you know, they, they really need to be tackled better. Um, I don't suggest prisons, by the way. I think prisons are a joke. Uh, they don't help at all. It's not a rehabilitation centre at all, a prison. It's not a, It's not even punishment. Prisons are actually really uh, well equipped with uh, even internet and uh, pool tables. Not every prison, but, you know, a lot of prisons. You know, because of the, uh, the rights of a prisoner and stuff like that, you know. Um, and I think we've gone a bit overboard with the like the rights of children and you know the rights of women who, who get raped and stuff. This is really really high, highly controversial, I know. Uh, but you know a lot of children, let's say in America. Sorry, Americans, but wow, fuck, what a country you live in. Whoa, um, really sorry, but there you go. That's my thinking. Um, you know, children um, in America, I, I I've known for years, uh, end up suing their parents. I mean, Christ. That's just, that shouldn't be allowed. Um, and then the other point I mentioned, which is highly controversial, is uh, women that get raped. Um, now, I'm not talking about every woman. Uh, and again, I have to go woman because I really just don't believe it, that it's women and men, you know. But uh, I'll just say women for the moment uh, that get raped. Uh, there's not generally not enough talked about with men getting raped, but we'll get into that in another video. I'm going to stick to 15 minutes here, so 30 seconds to say this. Um, a lot of women do end up... Um, being, uh, you know, flirtatious or wearing clothes that are very uh, sexy and they, and you know, they gets the guys horny as hell, you know, um, uh, or they get drunk as well and um, and end up touching and doing things that is totally normal for a woman, you know, but it isn't for a guy. And so I think, you know, we've got to look at how we're behaving, you know, in general.
good ending or not. <laughs>